So we're going to start, we're going to do the first one with both of you. And here's what I want to say about this class. Don't come in here expecting to learn. Come in here expecting to think. It's a thinking class. And what I see, my job, what I see is to inspire us to think about some things. I'll put a table or I'll show a photo or a news story or something like that. And that'll go on the screen and then we'll talk about it. But it's not a place where you just write data down because you don't need to do that. Okay. However, the one thing we do is we have Abby, we have Anna here, and the two of them are going to talk about a subject matter that I'm going to put up on the screen in a few minutes. And then we're going to have a conversation about that. And you all are not the experts on this, on what we're going to put up here, right? You don't even know what it is. You have no idea yet, right? You're not the experts on it. So you wouldn't be expected to be the experts. That's not what it is, okay? So that's what, you, that's what the two of you are going to start doing today. And it may be that one of you really knows a lot about this subject matter. Like sometimes we'll get a volunteer up here and they will just have a great deal of, of vision about whatever it is. And it may be that there's other people in the classroom that have thought about this a lot. And sometimes someone in the classroom will say, hey, wait a minute, can, can I just jump up and say a couple of things and then we'll do that? Whatever it is, we're, we do the volunteer thing in lots of different ways. But this is how it operates. So you're, nobody's, you're not expected to know. In fact, I love it when people don't know anything or think they don't know anything because then what happens is we start to say, well, tell us what you do know. And you'd be surprised at how much we have thought about certain things that we didn't, we were just never really asked the right questions, right? So it's like being in therapy. Those of you who have been in therapy, right? You know. Yeah? So you know what I'm saying, right? Am I right? Like when, you, when they start asking you really good questions, what happened? Go ahead. Turn, turn your, you can turn your mics on now. We're starting right now. So yeah, what happened? I mean, you, like, my therapist, I think I know everything about myself and that I'm like, okay, yeah, I can figure myself out. And then she'll ask me a question. And then I'll just sit there and go, oh, I never really thought of it like that before. And then I kind of think of it like a different way. And then that's how I kind of learn about myself more. Yeah, that, a really good question, right? That you haven't, you thought, you, you really think, right? You think you've thought about everything and they throw, and a good therapist throws you a curveball. How about you? Any, did you have it? For me, it's more like every time he asks me a really cool question, I just discover a feeling that I was feeling but didn't know how to name it. Yeah, yeah. And so this is like me. That, that was my experience as well. I felt like I, came, I became a human being through therapy for myself. Well, first off, I found God through mushrooms. And then after the mushrooms, I became a human being through therapy, right? But this is like teaching for me. The reason I still teach and the reason every single Social 119 class is different every single semester. This year, there will be 60 different Social 119 classes. And the reason for that is because I, I get bored with the same stuff. I want to learn some new things. So, all right, go ahead. Next slide, my friend. Critical race theory. Tell us what you see. And now, notice I'm not saying what you know, because no implies knowledge, knowing implies correct thinking, knowing implies truth, knowing implies right and wrong, knowing implies all sorts of things. What, what do you see? Critical race theory. Tell us about it. Who wants to go? Abby. And remember, hold the mic close. So I don't know much about this, the critical race theory. I've heard of it before. I just don't know that much about it. But from what it looks like with the picture, it looks like it's how, about how um, all the different races kind of get along and how they can like function together. How different racial groups get along, how they function together. Okay. By the way, the photo is just a random photo that I chose. So, okay. Oh. But that's okay. That's all right. No, no, no. This is good though. Go for it. So you see, you've heard, you've heard this before, right? Yes, I have. Where have you heard about it? I honestly don't remember, probably from something like when I've listened to the different things that have been happening, like on the news, like Black Lives Matter and like stuff like that. It's kind of like I've heard about it in passing. I can't really put words to like what I remember, but I definitely remember hearing it before. Uh huh. Okay. So, in what you heard, did you like hear positive things, negative things, or like what is, you know, like, is, is it provocative? Is it, 
Yeah, it definitely seemed more provocative, I guess, because it kind of, like, from what I'm guessing from it, it kind of talks about, like, social issues uh -huh. between the races. And uh -huh. so it just seemed very, like, like, it would point things out to me that I didn't realize were, like, things going on. Before, uh, like, if that okay, makes sense. Okay. Listen, man. Okay, so you, you get that, right? So suddenly now I'm asking her more. And now she's starting to say more. She's starting, you're like, you're putting pieces together a little bit. Like, oh, wait, it's asking me to look at something, some social issue that, or look at us to look at it that we haven't looked at before. Okay, cool. Yep. Anna, how about you? Uh, so for me, when I look at that picture, I have no idea what it means. What critical race like, theory means? Like, all together, I just have no idea what he means. Well, don't think about the picture. Just, like, critical race No, theory. not the pictures. I mean, like, the whole sentence all together. Yeah. Like, it feels like it's a theory. Yeah. But I really just look at the words critical and race because I feel like those are the ones that actually matter from that. Yep. And it's just, like, the importance of, like, understanding race. Mm-hmm. It's some kind of understanding of race. I'm going to come back in. Abby, how do you identify? I'm a white female. White. What's your back? What's your what's your ethnic ancestry? So I am Irish, Polish, Austrian, English. Anna, how about so what's your background? Uh, so for race, I I do identify as black, but I am Hispanic. I'm Dominican. You're Dominican. Yeah. Uh huh. Bo bo wait, both parents? Uh, yeah, and I was born and raised there. You were born and raised? Yeah. In the DR? Where in the DR? At Santo Domingo. Where? Santo, Santo Domingo? Domingo. Yeah. And so you speak Spanish? Yeah. Okay. So when did you come to the U.S.? About five years ago. Are you in, in, do you live in a, in a Dominican community here? And so people aren't talking about critical race theory? Uh, no. Yeah? Huh. So you've... In, it's a Dominican community, inc including, like, Afro-Caribbean community? Yeah, uh, there's Puerto Rico. Like, I'm from Philly, and North Philly, some the part I am from. So, like, a lot of Hispanics, a lot of Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, and Mexicans. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And you, uh, do you identify as Afro-Caribbean? Yeah, I do. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, because, you, yeah, I mean, you have black blood in you, for sure. Yeah, no, I, and I, like... I know that for sure. So critical race theory, what have, we, what, what have we gotten to here? I was saying that I feel like critical race theory is just kind of about how, um, like, the social dynamics and the social issues today of, um, like, between the races. Okay. All right. And you would agree with that? Yeah. So anyone want to ask a question? My name is Avi. Avi? Junior. Avi, A-V-I, yes. Yeah. And my question is, do you believe that critical race theory is just another word for racism? Dude, awesome. Um, I'm going to say no, because it doesn't seem like it's like separating the races and kind of talking about it. It just seems like it's just like it's about social issues and like that's happening today that like we need to discuss. So it doesn't seem like it's like calling out one race or another. It just seems like it's like, hey, this is an issue like between races. We need to kind of like, think about this more, but I'm also not sure if I'm right, so. Okay. Anna, how about you? Do you have a response to him, to Avi? You don't have a response? All right, dude. Do you guys have a question for someone in the class? Yes, yeah, so can somebody please explain what, like, critical race theory is to me and, like, like, actually see if I'm right, because I really don't know and I don't want to talk about it, because, or I don't, I don't feel like I have a right to talk about it because I don't know what it is, so I want to learn more about it. <laughs> Who wants, to, who wants to join in, man? What's your name? Um, I'm Anurag. What is it? Anurag. Kanarav? Anurag. All right. So isn't it like... Uh, Wait, theory... you could, can you stand up? Actually, the camera will pick you up better. Isn't it the theory that um, America is built on like a racist system? And okay, hold it, hold, it, hold it really close. That America is built on a racist system? Uh-huh. That, that's, I think that's it, right? Uh, I might be wrong. I'm not sure. But... No, dude, you're, you're good. Okay. Keep going. Like, what else? I, I think, I don't know, that's all I know, but... The, the idea that America's built on a racist system. Yeah. Okay, the, all right, you're, we're getting somewhere. All right. Dude, nice. Wait, were you born, are you from the U.S. or were you born in India? Uh, yeah. From the U.S.? All right. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jahazio. 
Um, I'm from Philly as well, but I'm also Trinidadian, so it's like both parts. And um, from what I've like heard and learned about critical race theory is basically the um, sense of learning the different races and the history between academia as well as like the history in the United States of races and how like what they've been through in general. So what the Asians went through, what the um, Pacific Islanders went through, what the African Americans went through, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, where, where do you hear, where have you heard about critical race theory? Um, I heard about it in high school in like um, my African American history class, but I took it upon myself to um, Google it and like learn more basically. <laughs> Abby, do you have a question for Jahazia? This is your man right here. So we are both, I mean, I don't know if, like we couldn't really hear you that well, so I kind of heard bits and pieces. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So like, I'm sorry if you could like summarize that again. Just say the main idea, bro. So basically the main idea of critical race theory is the learning of different races going throughout the history in the United States. Because this is a um, United States term, basically. Mm -hmm. You got that? Yeah, that makes more sense. Thank yep. you. Okay. Yeah, we got one more in the front. All right, go ahead. All right, bro. Hello. Uh, my name is Parker. I'm from New Hampshire. Um, I was just going to build off what they were saying. It's kind of like how... Uh, racism is kind of entangled in like U.S. law, like throughout history, um, how different laws have sort of uh, implemented like systematic racism or systemic racism. Um, and it's kind of like popular in the media right now because it's, there's a big debate about whether it should be taught in schools, especially like K to 12. Dude, leave it to the white guy. You know what I mean? All right. Okay, very cool. So you just made a link between the system and laws. Yep. Any, anybody else want to just kick something out? Hi, I'm Halima, and I'm from Massachusetts. And I think I was just going to say that there is this opinion that you can just um, end discrimination or racism in our country by individuals to stop, like, not discriminating against people. But I think the critical race theory goes a little deeper than that, and it looks into different things that happened hundreds of years ago, like in politics, like he was saying, and in the laws that like have these long lasting effects, and we have to like do things now to change those effects. And it's more than just individuals not being racist against people. And it's more about looking at the system and how we can like reverse the effects that have been affecting people now. Dude, awesome. What's your ancestry, by the way? Uh, I'm Pakistani. You're Pakistani? Yeah, but I was okay. born here. Um, by the way, I'm always asking ancestries because I'm like in my mind, I'm just trying to, I'm getting a sense of who's in the class for future things. Awesome. Okay. Question for her. What's your name again? Halima. To Halima. Halima. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Anna, question for Halima or um, Abby, either one. I don't think we have any questions. That was very clear. I really appreciate your answer. Okay. Awesome. You like your answer? What? what? Hang on. Thanks. What'd you like about her answer? Um, I liked how, I think she kind of like got her statement out very clearly. I think she made a good point about you need, I think that we need to like start educating people and that the fact that it's at a threat of like being removed from certain states uh -huh. and uh, things like that kind of threatens the progression of continuing to learn about it and kind of stops change from happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, man. Wait, um, Sam, right. actually, can I say something? Yeah, please do. This will be, and then we'll go on to our next thing. So I just want to say that, like, I really, I didn't hear your name or her name, but... Yeah, what's your name again? My name is Virginia. Virginia? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah. you're Virginia. So... <laughs> All right. So I just want to say that, like, I agree with you, or... I, again, I kind of heard bits and pieces of it, but I heard you say that, like, it, like something about it being taught in schools. I think it should be taught in schools because I am not very happy that I didn't know that much about it coming up here and that I had to learn from asking you guys. So I really wish they would teach more of that stuff to us. And that's kind of why I took this class so I could learn more about like social issues, about what's going on. So can I ask you a question with that in mind? Do you feel like you should? It sounds to me like you think you should know about critical race theory. Yes. Why should you know about critical race theory? Because I'm 
I mean, to put it frankly, I'm white. I know I have, like, some things that other people really can't have, so I want to know so I can, like, help and, like, kind of support. So I want to, like, get a feel for things that I personally don't see from my point of view. Okay, all right, hang on. Anna, can we have a come-to-Jesus moment here with your white sister here? So she's saying that she feels like she's white. Does that mean you feel like you're privileged because you're white? Okay, so here she comes up here. She's white. She has a certain privilege. She should know, should know about these things, right? As an Afro-Caribbean woman growing up in the DR, like, what do you think about that? When you look at her, should Abby already know about these things? Like, should she, and should she know about things affecting the Dominican community? And like, I feel like they should. I feel like she should know. Just uh-huh. like I feel like they should educate people about race from other countries as well about because slavery happened worldwide so there is racial issues in more places than just the united states so do you think americans should know should know about things regarding the like haiti and the dominican republic yeah because america is such a diverse country like here there's no language that's supposed to be spoken because america is based on that okay america is based on immigrants from many other countries okay but listen okay so now i'm going to push a little bit here ready so you but you're from the dr you know i know life in the dr right i mean you might be from la clase alta right i don't know okay you're not right okay so i know the dr and i know what it means to be to live in the dr and be from the dr and i look out here and there are a lot of black people in this class who are really, pri- they got their American passport, which, which is a, a, a pathway to privilege, right? And they don't know anything about the DR. And so would you say to them then that they really, sh- they should know about what your people go through? Like, come on, like, how, how would you address that? So I think about that in the way that, like, I've been told, like, oh, you're not black. Yeah. When, then what am I? Oh, you're Dominican. Being Dominican is my nationality. Yeah. It's not my race. And I think it's important to teach people that. No, I got that. But hang even, on. I want to stick. Even if it's just not, Amer- not no, just listen, American. Listen, but let me ask you this. So, you know, life in the DR, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, life in Haiti. Let's mm-hmm. go with life in Haiti. It doesn't really matter, right? You been to Haiti? No. Okay. So life in Haiti is very different. You got black people in this classroom who are from the, cl- the re- who are wealthy. Okay? They don't know a damn thing about the DR. They don't know a damn thing about Haiti. Nor do they care. Nor do they bother to educate themselves about it because they're busy living life. Just like everybody, just like Abby, you're busy living life, doing your own thing, doing all the things you do. I assume you're a, you're a, you're a kind person. You're a good person, right? So, they, you, you, so you're, you're not you're doing anything wrong. You're just living your life. So now you got all these, and all these other people here who are doing the same thing. And they're not paying attention to people in Haiti, people in the DR, people in other parts of the world, people in Afghanistan, I don't know, right? Would you say the same thing to them? Like, hey, y'all, like, you should be, you should know about what's going on in places like the DR, especially since the United States participated directly in creating what is the, po- the, the in- impoverishment of the DR. Can I change my mind? What's that? You change your mind? Yeah, but you not in that way. Okay, so go I ahead. feel like So I'm a big fan of education. I love like reading and I love learning. So I feel like getting educated should be your priority, but to some extent you should not be forced to know something. It's also how you use it. Okay. And how you use what you know and what you don't know. Okay. I got you. All right. Can I expand on like what she was saying a little Abby, bit? Abby, now, go ahead. <laughs> okay, Please sorry. Please respond. Sorry, I'm very impatient, apparently. But, um, <laughs> so, I do agree with her that, like, you don't, like, you shouldn't be forced to learn this stuff. It yeah. should just be more of, like, why, like, there should be more stuff about it that you can learn, like, more articles about it, where, like, if you happen to stumble upon it and you want to learn about it, you can read it. It shouldn't be, like, super hard to, like, find out about, um like what's going on in Haiti or like what's going on in other places in the world. That's more of like, listen, Abby, it's not that hard. let me, yeah, <laughs> now I'm going to, Abby, no, I know, listen. I know. I don't mean it like that. I no, just no, mean- you, but you mean it. You do mean it like that. Cause that's how, 
90% of liberal white people, liberal people <laughs> think about it. It's okay. It's okay. You're just being what everybody else is, and you're saying what everybody else is saying. So it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's all right. So listen, you, the issue is, the issue is, there's so much in the world to learn that if we put standards on ourselves about what's right, what's wrong, the good way to be, the, the good way to be educated, the bad way to be educated, and then we start putting like guilt and shame on top of that, it's, like, it's, a, it's a cesspool of negativity and shame that we never climb out of. There is so much going on in the world, my friend, that you will never, ever, ever know about. So much more. I barely, we barely touched, barely touched Afghanistan last class. Hardly, right? You will never, ever be able to open yourself up to really taking in what's possible. And there's no way for me. I could literally teach this class. You could, you could take this class. You could start your freshman year, your fall semester of freshman year. You could be on the five-year plan, and you could take this class for five years. We could talk about a different topic every single day for five years, and you still wouldn't even barely touch what's going on in the world. So when I hear you say should, and like, you know, and, and then we put the shame onto it, it's really, I... That's why I would say, like, education is to those who want it. Like, growing up, it's like the one thing that every parent in theater is like, you should get educated, you need to get educated. Yeah. And they judge you when you don't. Not everybody's like made for college. Not everybody's made to be like yeah. doing research. Not everybody wants to do those things. Okay, awesome. Yeah, awesome. And not any, everybody can, right? Not everybody can, right? So this is the nature of it. It's a, it's, a, it's a slow process. And not everybody should. The two of you were in therapy, right? When you were in therapy thinking about what's going on in your life, you're not thinking about what's happening in the other side of the world. You're thinking about you. And that's okay. Like, that's good. And so basically what I'm saying here to my message to the class, y'all, is like, this class, there are, no, there are no shoulds in here. Anybody that wants to point a finger, like you, you can point a finger like, you should this and you should think that and you should do this. There's three fingers coming back at you. No matter what you can say that's a problem, I will, t I will guarantee that I can top it with a problem that's infinitely more tragic than the one you're pointing to and that you know nothing about. So that's what, the, this, that's what this class is. It's, we're rocking. You guys are great, by the way. This is an awesome, I didn't expect to have this conversation. This is a very cool conversation. Yeah, you feel good? Uh, you, you feel like, did, did you, what'd you get from what we just said? Um, I feel like I definitely learned a lot. Like, I don't even, like I can't. I can't think right now for some reason, but I definitely feel like I learned more and I definitely know I should be doing more research on the stuff that's like happening around the world because I personally... Maybe, to... if you choose to. Yeah, I'm saying me because yeah, I want you. to. Okay, yeah, you want to. I don't to. mean okay, like good. everybody, I just mean I want to. Yep, and it's not the system because you got a phone, you can spend yeah. all as much time as you want. Okay, that's cool. And you feel like good, like if this video goes out into the world and like a year from now you could look at it and be like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's what I was thinking back then. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. I think you're awesome. Yeah, I've been doing this for a long time. It's awesome. Anna, how about you? That's what I love about therapy. What's that? That's what I love about therapy. Like, after a certain time, you go back to, like, the, to think about the way you used to think when you first started. And it's yeah. just amazing, the growth. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.